Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of our uh, Power App series. Today we will be seeing uh, how we can use a modernized uh, date picker. So basically we have our date picker control uh, in Power Apps and uh, you are just seeing the similar control. Let me just play it. So this is how yeah, you know regular date picker uh, will be there so in case if you want to do some changes you need to click on this to select uh, the year and then if you have to select the month you can do it in this way and then you have the option to uh, select the dates either from here okay and there's a new way you can do it so let's do it I will just create one more label I will say uh, modern date picker okay so we are going to add a new uh, date picker and that control is not available by default in power apps to get that what you need to do you have to go to your uh, teams and then in teams go to power app you need to create one power app for any of the teams that you have so click on start now you'll be seeing all your uh, you know all your teams over here you need to select a team for which uh, you are going to create uh, the power app so here uh, these are the teams we have let me select a uh, retail and click on create okay so uh, you need to create an app for that you just need to give uh, a name to app i'll just give test app save it okay we got our uh, app created now we are going to add one uh, date picker what we are going to do we are just going to copy paste this here select it control c come to your power app control v here is your control so you'll be seeing something different because uh, the color the border and all those things are different because here we don't see the uh, border and uh, in the default one we see the border let's just quickly see the different properties we have when you select this these are all the default properties that are available for any date picker but when you click on this one you see there are so many new things that are coming so these are all the things that you can uh, do before that let's quickly go and see how it looks i'll play this app so this is how your default date picker will be looking like and when we click on this this is how this modern date picker will be looking like so here you'll be seeing uh, the date the month and then here you click on this to select the year that you want to go to this is how we select dates here but we have to see the different properties that are available in this uh, modern date picker so that you know we will know what and all we can use I'm just closing it let's select the date picker field here it will ask you which is the uh, first day of the week by default it is one and first week of the year this is fine and if you want to show the week numbers you can click on on let's see here you are seeing 23 24 25 26 27 so this is the 23rd week of this year 24th week of this year obviously let me go to december here you will be seeing 49 50 15 52 if i go to jan I'll be seeing first, second, third, fourth, fifth week of the year, that particular year. So that's what we get it when we turn on show week numbers. Show go to today. I'm switching it on. Uh, we are going to run it. I'm going to click on this. See, here we are getting this go to today. As soon as I click on this one, it will take me to current date. So we may be like uh, going to some uh, uh, year or some month, we'll be selecting some date. But as soon as if you want to select, go to 
the current date you you don't need to you know change the month or the year or the week you just need to click on go to today and it will pick the date you can select it easily so this is how you know it is useful let's see what else we have and let's go to advance and we will see one thing in advance is the max and min date min date can be today you can use the today function here minimum date must be today see some case in some of our requirements we may need to you know limit the number of dates that can be picked by uh, the user who are using the uh, app so in that uh, scenario we can you know have this validation so for max day uh, we are going to add one more uh, function that function is date add date add we will be opening it the date will be today's date comma the second property will be number of units that means uh, how many dates you want to you know allow the uh, users to select for example now i am going to give 30 days and then i will just close it let's see how it works i will play the app so as soon as i select here you will be seeing today the rest of the previous days are uh, unable to you know select so from today it will allow us to select next 30 days let's go to next month so 7th of next month it will allow us to select and even in the right hand side if you see it is allowing us to select only feb and march it will not allow us to select any of the uh, other months because the 31st 31 days are falling only between feb and march obviously it is still allowing us to uh, go to today because today anyway is the day that's the day we have given for the minimum value so this is the uh, modern uh, date picker we can say which we can you know use in our apps instead of you know using the uh, default regular app in case you know if we uh, really want and uh, you, we don't need to worry more on the uh, border part because we can have a rectangle or any other control which will give us the border but some of us maybe you know start uh, using this kind of a date picker.